Okay, so there's been a lot of discussion about dark mode on devices, power saving benefits, and I just wanted to show you how to enable dark mode and how to kind of use dark mode in general on the Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro or on the Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, basically any device running MIUI 11. A lot of applications are already beginning to utilize dark mode, but if you wanna go at the system level, let's just show you guys how I have my device set up. First things first, you're gonna go into display settings, dark mode. Now we do have a global dark mode. It interacts weird with some applications and there's something with the Google applications right now that is really, really annoying. I'll show you guys in a second. But dark mode, global dark mode. The global dark mode is going to force dark mode on applications that don't have a built-in dark mode. Let's just go ahead and go through some of the applications now that do support dark mode. Now, the first one is YouTube. And as you will see, the YouTube dark mode isn't a true dark mode because a lot of the applications for dark mode are uh, still, if you guys can see, the actual pixels themselves are not off, which is really frustrating because it would be a greater power savings to have that. My wallpaper is just a black background. I took a picture in the dark and I use it for this. The pixels that are not lit up are saving energy. Into Telegram, I have a custom Telegram theme that uh, gives me this type of dark mode as it is right now. I wish I could have some way to not have the different colored boxes and just have the names because I know how the conversation is working. But as you can see, Telegram has the dark mode, lets you change if you want that dark mode to be an ambient sensing dark mode or not. Here, we, I'll show you guys right here. Auto night mode on or off, mine is off because I always have it on with this setting. Reddit, Reddit now currently has a dark mode that is built right in and you can toggle it here. For some reason, mine won't toggle, uh, but Reddit does support a dark mode. I think maybe because I have the global dark mode uh, enabled, it's not showing up. I'm really active on Twitter. You guys should go ahead and give me a follow. On Twitter, if you guys want to go ahead and enable dark mode, we will go to Twitter, settings, display and sound, dark mode. Now for Twitter, there is two different options. We have a dim and a lights out. The lights out mode is a mode that support, supports AMOLED displays. Now let's go try a dating app like Bumble and see how the compatibility is on here. As you guys can see, uh, it does support dark mode, but it is not a true dark mode because this is dark gray. It is not uh, pitch black, unfortunately. Google AdSense, if you, uh, if you force Google dark mode on it, you will have this kind of grayed out appearance for it. Um, it is not a true dark mode again, but we do have support for it, at least in global dark mode. If you do not have go, uh, global dark mode enabled, this would show up just with a normal white background, even though it's a Google app. We'll go in right now into Gmail. Now Gmail, uh, like a few days ago with an update, did get support for it, but as you guys can see, it's not a true uh, dark mode for Gmail either, which is interesting. Instagram now does support dark mode. So we have like a dark mode, but again, as you guys can see, it is not a true uh, dark mode. It is at least at this level, it is a true dark mode, but it's not like congruent through the whole app. Text messages, of course, because it is a built-in Xiaomi app. It will support dark mode. Facebook Messenger, if you use global dark mode and you have a dark mode enabled, you will have issues like this. Right now, I have this dark mode enabled uh, and we do have um, a compatibility issue because we have the global dark mode enabled, which is why I don't always use it. Whether uh, the weather app itself doesn't really support, I guess you would say, 
like the dark mode in this because of the animation. WhatsApp is does not support dark mode, even though I am on WhatsApp beta, uh, there is still no support for it. But as you guys will see, I do have the wallpaper changed to black, so the pixels are dim. Spotify, Spotify has always uh, like utilized dark mode. There's no reason uh, that it, it shouldn't. It's just part of like the overall aesthetic. Google search, frustratingly enough, still does not support dark mode, even though uh, a fair amount of other Google apps are supporting it. Google Keep, uh, Google Keep does also support dark mode. We don't have a true dark mode again. Google Maps, only at night supporting dark mode. It's, fr it's, a, it's a frustrating thing because I would love to have like a, a, a authentic dark mode that's throughout the device, but we don't have it right now. Oh, Play Store. Google Play Store, again, dark mode. The dark mode is regardless of global dark mode or not. In fact, let's go ahead and just show you guys what you could expect if you're not using the Force Global Dark Mode for the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is now just going to go ahead and follow whatever toggle you choose in your system settings. So close that, we'll reopen it, dark mode, off, Play Store, and as you guys can see, Play Store just follows whatever your system settings are. Seeing this and how it looks now, I don't know if I could ever honestly go back to not having a dark mode. I just find this much easier on my eyes. And we have had this uh, like dark mode aesthetic um, on MIUI beta now for uh, close to two months, I wanna say, and it's worked pretty well. Almost all of the Google Drive apps are going to give you the grayed out dark mode, not like the authentic dark mode. One thing that is worth noting is that on the Mi Fit app, we don't have a dark mode in the Mi Fit app. And that would be nice. Obviously it's not like necessary, but we do not have it. If you guys have more questions about it, go ahead and let me know on Twitter or in the comment section down below. Check out my website. I'll probably end up doing an article about my frustrations with dark mode on my website. And if you guys wanna read about that, link to all that stuff down in the description. Till next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.